which was fine until I said, do you live in the United States and do you live near a mountain? And they said, no. Scheduler timing. I know the scheduler has maintenance windows where optimizer jobs and advisors run, etc. But we are seeing these jobs run during the day and it's hurting our performance. Why is this happening? A, a quick bit of background on schedulers, windows and maintenance jobs. Back in the day, uh, around the Oracle 10G and before, we had a really cool either DBMS job infrastructure, which then became the DBMS scheduler in 10G. But whichever you were using, we had a very cool facility for running things asynchronously in the background at a scheduled point in time. It's cron for the database. You would then put all the things that we told you to do to run at regular intervals, gathering stats, running the advisors, um, you know, maybe doing database or reorganizations, etc. That's all well and good, but a lot of those things are just part and parcel of every DBA's toolkit, or they should be. So come Oracle 11, we introduced this thing called the automatic task management infrastructure. It wasn't particularly well publicized and we sort of slotted it in there, but what happens was we suddenly said, you know, you don't have to run these common things yourself. We will automatically look after optimizer stats, segment advisors and storage advisors. And they were part of this thing called the automatic task framework. To enable that, we created these things called scheduler windows, which were already in the scheduler from 10G onwards, which would nominate a time at which you could actually run this thing. The database would be given an allowed point in time. By default, it was 10 p.m. to 2, 2 a.m., I think, uh, during the week and most of the weekend. So if you're one of those businesses that did most of your work on the weekend, you probably wanted to change that. But those scheduler windows be, were put in place to enable the automatic task infrastructure. Here's what our uh, my customer sent to me. He said, this is the problem. He said, they're running during the day, but our windows are defined just right. If we go look at this query, this came out of SQL Developer, and it says the Monday window starts at 2 a.m. They changed the way from the default of 10 p.m. Tuesday at 2 a.m., etc. Saturdays and Sundays started at 11 p.m. So they sent this feedback saying, this is what we've got them set to, yet we're seeing our optimizer jobs run during the day. That output, struck a bit of an odd chord with me. And the reason it did was when I looked at the next start date, the output mask there looks fine for a date, but something bothered me because I'm pretty sure they're not dates in the scheduler. And when I went and looked at DBA scheduler windows, I was right. The various date columns are all defined as timestamp with time zone. So why couldn't I see it in this particular output? And what happened is this customer had edited their NLS settings in their SQL developer preferences to strip out that stuff because they didn't use time zones anyway. When I asked them to run the same query just in a stock standard SQL plus session, we see this output. It looks the same, except now we have the time zone information as well. And they're all 2 a.m. in the U.S. mountain time zone, which was fine until I said, do you live in the United States and do you live near a mountain? And they said, no, they were coming to me from India and therefore something was a little bit afoot. That's why their schedules were running not at the middle of the night. They're running in the US middle of the night, which doesn't happen to be the middle of the night in this part of the world. The most common cause for this is when we create databases, especially if we're creating them for the first time, is often we'll do something like this. We'll simply grab the database configuration assistant and we'll use the database that copies the data files that are already present inside the DBA templates. Most of them were built in the US and things like SysDate and stuff come from your OS, but things that are burnt into the database itself will come with what's in those data files, which will be US Mountain. So let's do a little demo on how we would fix it. Just to prove what's going on here, I've got Select this timestamp from Jill. You can see this is in my time zone. I'm Greenwich Mean Time plus eight. That's we're eight hours ahead of England in Perth here. And it's 9.38 p.m. my time. If I create a job that does nothing, so the job is literally called does nothing, and I say, I want to start at this timestamp, that's the start date, all looks well. It says, yes, it's going to start at 9.38 and the next day will be 9.38, et cetera, tomorrow, et cetera. So all that looks fine. So your typical usage where you've nominated the start date 
all seems to be work and you don't seem to encounter this problem. However, let me drop that job and recreate it now with something that's just as valid, which is the start date doesn't have to be specified. It will default. If I let it default, we start seeing this anomaly. The start date is now 7.38 a.m. US Mountain Time, which is right now, but it's all now been stored in terms of a US time zone, which means it will have an alternate description if we're looking at scheduler windows. That's strange though, because how did it find this US time zone? Because my time zone on my computer here is obviously Perth time. The scheduler has its own time zone that is set inside the scheduler. And you can see it by running DBMS scheduler S time from Joule. And it says the time zone we are using inside the scheduler, which will be used by default if you don't nominate time zones when you create things, is US Mountain. How do we change it? Very, very simply. And I would imagine that this is something you probably want to do if your scheduler time zone does not marry up to your database time zone or your own operating system. You simply set the default time zone attribute to your time zone. In my case, it's Australia Perth. I'll drop the job, recreate it now with no start date. So I use the default and you see now it picks up the scheduler default time zone of Australia Perth. So that's a quick demo and a very simple fix. Just something to be aware of because we often think that, well, if we have the OS set correctly, then the database will just pick up everything from the OS. That is not entirely true because we have the OS time zone, we have the database time zone, and we also have the scheduler time zone as well. And it would generally make sense to bring them all into alignment. Probably the only exception to that would be is if you're running a database with global customers all over the place, a common thing I see is people set their database time zone to being UTC and they everyone then uses time zones to get their correct local time. Obviously, the key thing is check your defaults, make sure that basically your defaults are set correctly. And I think in all cases, really, this is just a special case of those kind of things where often we assume the date string for a date format, or we assume the number string, etc. We assume that the database will take care of data type conversions for us. The best practice has always been whenever you're dealing with dates, time zones, numbers, anything like that, be explicit. Use the two date functions, the two timestamp functions, the two timestamp TZ functions, etc., to explicitly nominate the times and time zones.